Hi there, Alex Kidman here with just a quick, simple tip, because usually when I'm reviewing Android phones, I'll refer to this button here on the side of the phone as the power button. Sometimes it's also the fingerprint sensor, but I'll usually recall it the power button, and I really shouldn't, because on most Android phones, this isn't the power button at all. At least, that's not its primary function anymore. On most Android phones, when you press this button, you're going to get your digital assistant. For the vast majority of Android phones, that's going to be Google Assistant or Gemini. Uh, for Samsung phones, of course, that might be Bixby if you're a Bixby user. And that's great if that's what you want to use it for. But if you don't, well, you can use the power button plus up combo to then get the power menu to come up but you can also set it permanently here's how on a couple of different phones it does vary a little bit by android version but i'll show you what you need to look for to get that working so on a plain android phone i'm using a pixel here you want to head into settings and then gestures and then press and hold power button it will be set to access digital assistant as the default. You change it to power menu and then it will work as the power menu. This is indeed what I prefer. If you've got a Samsung phone on the other hand, then open up settings, scroll all the way down to advanced features, tap on side button, tap on long press, and then choose whether or not you want a digital assistant, VXB somehow, or the power off menu, which is what I tend to prefer. Now, other phones will do this slightly differently, but this should give you the basis to look for what you need in settings to make that change if you want to. Thanks for watching.